I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about the fifth annual Gardens by the Sea tour that's put on by the Ken Island Federation of Arts or KIFA as probably pretty much everybody knows and I have Amy J. Cox here to tell us about it. It's a tour that you go and you actually visit eight to ten gardens um, throughout Ken Island. So Amy, welcome back. You well, were here you so last much. month. Yeah, thank you um, for having us back. Tell us a little bit about this. This is something I've never done and I'm really curious to hear what you do when you're on the tour. Well, gardens are just such a great inspiration for any artist. So this is a way for us to collaborate with the community as a way to bring art to gardens and bring okay. garden into the arts. Got so it. it's a both way collaboration. We have a whole bunch of different events going around um, this big garden tour, which is the first full weekend in June. And and these are like private people's residences. So yeah. they and and do you have people there that tell you like because I I know flowers. Oh, they're purple flowers or they're pink flowers. I don't know what they are. So do you have people to help out with that and you know explain it? Yeah, there usually are several different people on site that represent Kifa, okay. but also the homeowners are ah, usually that's there. That's the important one. <laughs> the homeowners love to talk about their gardens because they put a lot of pride into this and to right. have the, all these people coming through and to be a part of our tour, okay. they love to talk about the garden and you'll always get lots of great information along the way. And so um, the flip side of that is, so you said you have Kifa and you have um, members and volunteers there. So if somebody wanted to help out and not actually take the tour, how can they help out with this? Well, we need people to sit in the gardens. Okay. Um, we usually have them in for a three hour span, so it's not that long, and we give you some shade to sit under, okay. those kinds of things. Uh, but then also, if you volunteer in the garden or at Kifa giving out tickets, you actually get free entrance Ooh. to all the gardens. So, so you, you could actually take the tour then before mm -hmm. or after your shift. Yeah, so if you don't want to um, spend the $20, but you have 33 hours to give to us, We'd love to have you come and, and hang out with us, help us out, and then we'll give you a free ticket. And there's a big party at the end as well that all the volunteers are invited so to. So you get the free tour, you get the party, and you get to be part of this wonderful event mm -hmm. if you volunteer. So exactly. that sounds like a good deal. Um, so there, you said mentioned handout tickets. So there is a price for this. And can you tell us a little bit about how, how we get the tickets, what the cost is, that type of thing? Well, to get tickets right now, they're $20. Okay. Uh, you can either go on our website and use PayPal, or you can send a check in to the Kifa office or call or come by uh, when our office is open. Um, if you wait to the day of the tours, you got to pay $25. <laughs> so it really pays to buy those tickets early and to reserve your spot. Okay. And then part of it is um, your Kifa is down in Stevensville, historic Stevensville. It's the pink building. And you have a, a little boutique there. And you're featuring special items during this event. Um, I think we brought you brought something here. So, what? Tell us about what you're going to have there. Well, we invite local artists to do anything that is inspired by the garden or for the garden to come and sell their items throughout that week. And this is an example of a piece by Carol Cassio, who is actually one of our local artists who does some amazing um, ceramic pieces. Now, Carol is also going to have some special pieces in a few of the gardens. Oh, They're okay. She's going to be there for the garden tour, um, and she's going to be on hand to a answer some questions. But you're going to be able to buy some pieces of her that are meant for oh, indoors okay. that are inspired by the garden. Yeah, this well. is this is beautiful. So so she'll have now the pieces she's gonna have in the gardens, are they for sale later on or you think she's gonna or are they just special pieces that she has out for viewing, not selling? <laughs> They're actually for sale okay. and she is just one of a few artists that we have displaying their work in the gardens. Okay. So if you find something in the garden that you really <laughs> love, you can possibly buy it and you're gonna go through the Kifa office if you want to buy that. Okay. And um, I think, and this is a self-guided tour, so you're at your own pace. So if you get to a garden and, you know, there's really a lot there to see, you take your time. What are the hours for the tour? Um, you're going to be able to do the tour from 10 to 4 okay. on Saturday and Sunday, and there is no rain date. So you can be out there in the rain if okay. you want. It's up to you. Um, but you'll have plenty of time to go through all of the gardens. And uh, they're actually a little closer this year than they have been in past. Most of the gardens are along Route 8 this year. Oh, okay. So it'll be really easy so to get from one to the other. Very convenient. Mm -hmm. So it's June 7th and 8th. Mm -hmm. And the time again? 10 to 4 each 10 day. 10 to 4 each day. And if you want more information... You can go to the Kifa website or call the um, Kifa office mm -hmm. um, to order your tickets, find out 
questions answered, that kind of stuff. But definitely come out for this. This is a wonderful event and you're going to see a lot. So thank you so much for coming in, Amy. Well, thank you for uh, letting us uh, introduce the arts to more people. Thank you. Thank you.